Hello YouTube, my name is Josh Bryan with BNB. Today we're going to be discussing HP Octane, specifically the backlog of the new HP ALM Octane. So let's hop on into it. So here we are at the backlog. You can get there by clicking here, backlog. If you notice we have the entities over here within a hierarchical structure. We have overview which will give us a graphs of the different things we can hover and drill down if we want to see specifically what is there and dive into them. We have epics, we have features, we have user stories, we have tests which are not created here, they're created in the quality and we have the history. So let's go back to our epics. Now again, the terminology here is a little bit different because we have epics, features, user stories, and requirements. Every place has a slightly different use of the terminology for these different things. Generally speaking, epics are a larger requirement or user story. Features can be a collection of user stories it can be an area say you know the retail area of an online store or a sports area it can be a feature the user stories are the smallest or the smaller requirements that we're trying to get or the smaller user stories depending on what SDLC model that you're running so I'm going to create a couple entities here just to show you how it works. I'm going to click the plus. I'm going to say, let me just say online retail. I'm going to type in this business. I'm going to click add. Now, here we have epic. We can add tags here for easy searching if we want to. Add. I'm going to click features. I'm going to click add. Parent ID. So let us select our online retail team. We can select a team. Story points, we can give story points if we want. We can have a release, a feature type, and we click add. Now, for here, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to click add and add another. Now, we're still inside the feature, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to change it to user story. Select a parent. Sprint. We can select the sprint, which is just part of our, our release. We have notes down here. We have our release again and our team. And click add. Okay, so now we created an epic, we created a feature, we created a user story. We can dive into I'm gonna filter by if you notice we have US and these D's. So D's would be defects, US would be user story. So over here we can do a filter if we want based on these different entities here. So fixed on ID name. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We can change the view here to a grid view. Let's get rid of that. And this has our different entities inside here. Just a different view. It doesn't change anything. We can change the columns that we see. Again, we can delete or add or send an email. Or this is very cool. We can export to Excel if we'd like. 
we have our tests here, and we have our history. So again, we have epics, features, and stories, and just cascading down in size as we go from uh, left to right. So that was the backlog for HP ALM Octane. My name is Josh Bryan. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to reach out. And if you did like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks much. Bye.